Jesus, the one who come with healing in his wings. He is the light of salvation. He is the truth. He is the way. He is the light. This is, this is, this is God in Christ who is supposed to be in us. How, how is it possible? Well, what Luke chapter 18 verse 27 says, what is impossible with men is possible with God. He is the hope of eternal life. Which from God who never lies, never lies. Would you stand with me today? Now I know in the next couple of weeks, and I have I have forms, I don't have them with me, but there are out here in the, in the hallway. We're going to be observing baptisms. And the last couple of weeks during Sunday school, there's been some discussion about it. There's a whole lot more that's going to be done, something that apparently has been lacking. And I no longer will stand back and see it lacking. For those, uh, what, what will be happening for those who receive baptism, they're all going to receive a booklet. Amen. 40 days after baptism. And we spent a little bit of time putting something together, and, but it's not just, hey, here's a track. No, you're going to have an opportunity to come and sit and discuss what your new life could be like. Amen. Some of us right now, you, you really haven't entered into your new life. You've come to, a, just, you've got a saving knowledge of Jesus, but you're not, you haven't really come into that new life yet. You're still at the, you're still at the uh, what do they call it, the doorway? The threshold. The threshold. You're still at the threshold. You've come in, and the only way you got to that threshold was through grace. Amen. And now it's time to walk through the door. Yes. And in order for you to walk through the door, those of us who've been in the, in the faith for long enough, you need to be the one that's there because some of you need to realize you've been standing at the door, but you've not welcomed them in. Right. It's time for us to welcome you in. Yes. It's time for us to decide, make disciples, not just seek for Decisions, because it's more than just about a decision. Maybe you've made that decision. You decided to follow Jesus. Did you know that it's the body's responsibility to teach others how to follow Jesus? Because if you don't teach them how, they're going to turn back. You may have said you decided to follow Jesus like the song. No turning back, no turning back. The problem is, you never went the next step forward. Take somebody's hand right now and say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I don't want to be left out or left alone. I come it right now with these who are here today as witnesses that we will be joined together on this road called faith. Oh, Lord, it may be filled with some danger. There may be some trial. There may be tribulation. But, God, we're going on walking in faith. Even as the song we sang today said, even when we cannot see, Lord, lead us by your divine presence. Strengthen us by your word. Anoint us to be your servants. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Sister Linda, would you come forward? I'm sure you have a word and a prayer. The Lord gave me gift again. So if you want too much, you have to take it up with him. I used to be so shy and backwards. But I think, Pastor, for the message today, because we do need to sit and remember Remember where he brought us from and remember where he's taken us. Amen. And sometimes we get in a big hurry. We don't stop and we don't think. We don't remember. But think about everything he's brought us through. I can think just offhand right now some things he's brought way of mine through. And I am not going to name them all, but I thank God for them. So I challenge you all to do that today. Even may, maybe take a pen and a paper and write some of the things down that you remember that he has done for you in the past. 
All right, if that's uh, our heads and we'll be dismissed. We thank you, Lord, for today. We thank you for your love and your mercy. We thank you for the word, oh God. Help us to take time to sit to remember, oh God, who you are, what you have done for us. And Lord, we live according to your word and your plan. We will, you have a plan for us to go to heaven to live with you forever, Father. So help us, oh God, to do that faithfully. And Lord, we pray, dear God, that you keep each and every one safe. I want to mention for those that are now here today, for whatever reason, Lord, you touch them and lift them up today. Yes, if they're Lord. sick or whatever's going on, Father, there are many that are traveling in my family. I pray you keep them safe yes, and Lord. all the others, oh God. And I just praise you and thank you for all things. I pray a blessing over the fellowship, Lord, the food we're about to receive. We thank you for those that are prepared for food today. Help us, dear God, to enjoy thy blessing and help us always be willing to share. For it's in Christ's name I do pray. Amen, amen. amen. amen.